Okay, I've got a mock draft that is awesome. I love it. Todd McShay. I like Todd McShay. Now, if you say you like Todd McShay or Mel Kuyper, it's like, oh, those guys, those, they don't know anything. They do, though. They really do. They, this is their job. This is what they do. Um, can they go in-depth on every single team? No, they can't. But I like what Todd McShay did, except for one thing. I don't like what he did. And then also in this video, I'm going to remind you of why Barry Sanders is the greatest, right? So even in this mock draft video, just you'll see and you'll be like, are you kidding me? Your jaw will hit the floor when you see what I'm about to show you about Barry Sanders. But let's first look at this mock draft. I love it. Let's just get right into it. McShay says pick number six, Tyree Wilson. Now we've seen him put there with us. Seahawks take him. Maybe, maybe not. But remember, here's what we're looking at. You're going quarterback Carolina. Houston's going quarterback. Arizona, we've heard rumblings of somebody trading up there to take a quarterback. Indy's going quarterback. So now you've got Seattle. Maybe they take Tyree Wilson. You know, maybe they take Jalen Carter. Who knows? But then remember, we're in a great spot here. And for a minute, I was like, man, we're not in a good spot at six, but we are because Vegas, Atlanta, they need a quarterback. So does Tennessee go up? Hey, let me get in front of them. I think somebody's going to try to get in front of them if a quarterback is still there. So Hey, fine. Maybe we trade out of there. That'd be awesome. But if not, we take Tyree Wilson and he's another edge. We don't need an edge, but you can't also go wrong there either because you do. You have Aiden Hutchinson, James Houston. You've got the uh, Aquara brothers. You've got uh, what's his name? Charles Harris. So we've got edges, but well, there's a lot of things that we can do. Tyree Wilson, you don't ever go wrong with grabbing another good edge. We know a lot about him. Athletic, big, long, strong. Can't go wrong. Love it. Now, next one. Because we, because there it's like whatever. But let's just get some intrigue and start looking at where we're at with pick 18. B. John Robinson. Now, you guys have taught me or talked me into this. At first, I was like, no, come on. Running back, running backs. Now, nah, forget it. This guy is special. He really is special. He's strong. He's elusive, breaks tackles. I don't think he's going to be injury prone. Like, I think he's he can hold up. So I wouldn't hate it. Do if we don't get him, I'm not going to be devastated. It's like, fine, we don't need a running back. We can get running backs later in the draft. But I like Bijan Robinson just because we kind of need a running back. We haven't really had a good backfield in a while. And I know, you know, I know that Jamal Williams had a good year, but you know, Jamal Williams wasn't great. DeAndre Swift was inconsistent. It's like, what what can we do in the backfield with a really good running back paired with um, Ben Johnson? That is the question because, like I said, Swift was injured. Jamal's not great. So now we have David Montgomery. Love it. DeAndre Swift's on his last year of his contract. He struggled with injuries, so Bijan Robinson would be a great fit there. I, I really like that and think he can really do some good things. Now, here's the thing about Bijan Robinson that you know, I was talking to tell you about Barry Sanders, right? Say, or, uh, let's see. He had – let's look at his season – uh, okay, I'll get back to it. It's basically he had 3,000 yards. Oh, man, I messed up my main Barry Sanders thing I was going to show you. All right, we'll get back to it. Don't forget, I'm going to show you something cool about Barry Sanders. B. John Robinson, pick 18. Pick number 48, Jack Campbell. Perfect bucket, linebacker, need it, got to have it. 120 tackles in each of his past two seasons, so get him in there. Anzalone, Malcolm Rodriguez, you know, does he start? What doesn't matter? He'd play a lot and he'd be able to play um, on both sides, both linebacker spots. And just, I mean, that's perfect. If we can get Jack Campbell there, absolutely would would love that. And I'm, I'm moving through these quick. I, I don't want to, we've, we've seen a lot of mock drafts, but this is the one, am I crazy? And this is where, you know, if you can say, oh, you know, McShay doesn't know, Kelper or Kuiper doesn't know, because, you can say it right here. Oh, he could step in for TJ Hawkinson. They know Hawkinson got traded, but they don't understand that a tight end in our offense is really a dime a dozen. The way that the, that the offense works, the tight ends work. We don't need a tight end. We've got tight ends. We just need a body in there. Um, a later round tight end would be fine. We've got the rookie from uh, last year uh, from Virginia Tech. Who had the ACL? Can't think of his name, but. You don't need a tight end in our offense. So this is the one pick that if we did this, I mean, there, Laporta is supposed to be really good. Okay, fine. That kind of rounds out the offense, but we don't need a tight end. So that's something that we have to take a look at and just kind of be like, I, I, I don't know. 
So, man, let me find this B. John Robinson thing. Hang with me. Do not do not to click out of this video. I promise it'll be worth it. It's really weird. I was just looking at it. Oh, it's right here. B. John Robinson. He is considered to be a future Hall of Famer by a couple of people. Chris Mortensen said, hey, if he doesn't get hurt, people around the NFL are talking about this guy being really, really good. A future Hall of Famer type player. Now, look at this guy. Three-year college career. Okay. 3,400 3, yards, 33 touchdowns, and 31 games really really good right well let's just remind you so i was think i started thinking like what did barry do you know during his career don't even have to look at his career just look at his final season where he rushed for 200 or 2628 yards and 37 rushing touchdowns in one year 37 in one year he's he did 33 in 3 years bijan robinson barry sanders was ridiculous everybody knows it we all we all talk about his we all know i mean obviously he was, a, he was a lion so we all know what he did with the lions but his junior year at oklahoma state are you kidding me he produced a record 3250 all-purpose yards because remember he's kick returner punt returner and 37 touchdowns in one season barry sanders was untouchable at oklahoma state and if this turns into a barry sanders video fine barry sanders just YouTube, Barry Sanders, Oklahoma State. He was unbelievable. You couldn't even touch him. He didn't even get touched. He was fast. I mean, he's not known for his speed in the pros. He was, you know, juke, and you couldn't touch him that way. But in, in college, he could just, boom, he was off and running. And so in one season, just remember that, in one season, he matches uh, Bijan's entire career with uh, all-purpose yards and more touchdowns. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Love you, Barry. Love you. What a guy. Barry Sanders, folks. So I love this mock draft. Fine. Take take Bijan. But at the same time, if we don't take Bijan, okay. Don't like the tight end. But if we did take one, I guess it does round out the tight end room. So you let me know. Bijan, yes or no. Tight end, yes or no. And Barry Sanders, yes or no. Greatest player ever. The answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. And the more that time goes on the greater Barry Sanders really was because we see it now. I mean, if we break off a 20 yard run, it's like, Whoa, big time run. Like it never happens. You, you never break a run. You hardly ever see it. And that was every game with Barry Sanders, every game he was breaking off runs left and right. Every game. It's just a matter of time. Just keep getting it to him. Loss of one, two yards, loss of two, four, five, six, 75. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll see all of you on the next one.